Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video, I'm gonna be unboxing um, one of my newest bag purchases. This was actually gifted to me by my husband. Um, it's for Mother's Day and my birthday. You're probably gonna see what's in the bag because I'm gonna be posting the title of it in a thumbnail. So it is from Louis Vuitton and I actually requested this for him and we had a hard time getting it. Um, I actually was gonna get something else but it wasn't available so I got this instead. Ah, I'm excited. So this is probably the receipt. Yeah. Yeah, that's the receipt. Return. So that's the receipt and the return um, label. And there's your little card. Oh. I actually wanted to get a different bag, but it was already out of stock and people are just fast buying stuff <laughs> okay oh it's empty <laughs> what was that about it's got no message okay So this is a really big bag. <laughs> a box, I mean. But, oh my gosh. Look what I got. It's so tiny. So cute. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. This is such a cute bag. Will it even fit my phone? Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the Louis Vuitton um spring in the city edition and this is the papillon bb i think the color is called midnight fuchsia 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 i don't know how to pronounce it let me take that off for now so when i was younger i've always wanted a papillon bag i don't know i just like the circle parts and this is really expensive by the way so it's three thousand dollars or something a little over oh my goodness how cute is this yeah i don't think my phone's it's gonna be tough to get inside in here with my phone okay so that's let me see it's freaking cute okay so Cotton and Bechetta. Okay. So it's not all leather, I guess. What's inside? Okay. I think this is leather, though. I don't know. I feel like leather. There you go. That's what it looks like. It's so tiny. The hardware right there. And I think this will not have a date code because the new ones don't come with it anymore. They come with microchip. And that's how the tag inside looks like. So that's how the tag looks like inside. It's all Fusion inside. And there's like a little pocket right there. And those little rivets have like the Louis Vuitton logo on them. Yeah. 
I feel a little guilty because this is so expensive for a tiny bag and then it's so cute though oh my gosh and let's take a look at the coin purse there's the coin purse and it's got like this clasp the front that's the back oh and let's take a look at the inside the inside looks like that i love how it looks like too this one smells really good too it smells lovely i wanted to point out that the print on this one is like this it's i don't know what that is like is that a paint i don't know I originally wanted the pastel colored one but that one I feel like it's gonna get really dirty so I when my husband was making me choose I pointed at this one and he bought it I thought he was just kidding but it turns out he bought it anyways and I'm like we can't afford that right now because we just went on a really expensive trip and then it comes with this strap I do not have I used to not believe with straps that are not leather and you're paying premium price but apparently everyone likes them because so I feel like I've seen this first in a Marc Jacobs bag and then it just became a hit I'm not sure I could be wrong so there's the hardware in this one this hard this clasp is always a Louis Vuitton in, in a lot of Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton bags you go it comes with that this is where you hook up this thing by the way out yep there so it just has that logo throughout there you go so let's see how it looks like so this one is supposed to go like this. And this one's supposed to go like this. So cute. Oh my god. I was thinking of returning this because when my husband bought it, I thought he was just kidding. But apparently he was not. So I was like, I don't I kinda don't wanna keep it because it's too expensive and I'm not gonna be able to use it a lot you know you want to use it up but I can't because I've been busy I'm not really going out as much but it's really cute look at that okay, move this out of the way I kind of don't like how they give, keep giving you big boxes when you don't need a big box Oh, it looks oh my gosh it's so freaking cute oh my goodness should i keep it <laughs> it's so freaking cute okay so i'm gonna go ahead and try getting my phone yes so my husband and i have the same phone but he has a different color <clears throat> so let me see. <gasps> it's like, it's like telling me, keep me. Oh, it fits. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let me see what else it can fit. I'm literally just going around the room trying to get everything. Okay, so let's see if it can fit a lot of stuff. Let's see if this guy can fit. Oh no, this is not going to fit it. I almost want to sell this one i notice a lot of the people who buy like the expensive um lines of louis vuitton they tend to like sell parts <laughs> now like why oh yeah it's gonna be a little bit on the bulky side i'm trying to fit my AirPods. it kind of fits it's on a little bit of a push you see it bulk a little bit but i think it works My gosh, this bag is telling me, keep me. <laughs> I just don't want to spend any more. It was so expensive. 
I must feel bad for my husband because he was kind of forced into buying this because he's like, he just got a bag. I'm like, I know, but I really want this color. And seriously though, last year when they released the summer or spring in the city line or whatever that color was, the, the um, ombre style ones, I'm like, I want one of those, but it was so hard to get. And they're so expensive. So I got a hand lotion. I got a perfume. And I got a, I don't know, foundation. And I got a lipstick. And they all freaking fit. Let me see if I can get my wallet to fit in it too. Okay, so I bought my wallet. I brought my wallet. Let's see if it's going to fit. It's probably not going to fit with all of those crap over there <laughs> you know what you don't need your foundation when you go out go out there. oh it fits oh my gosh there you go guys so it fits a lot of stuff and it still has room look it i can still squeeze it oh my goodness i think i will keep the bag yeah Anyways, so um, I've always wanted to have one of these, but I don't think they have the DE because if I'm going to get a canvas one, I want it in DE or in Empreinte. I don't like this actually. This is going to be my first one in monogram or my first Louis, Louis in monogram. This is the mom and this is the baby. This is freaking cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> okay, let me take it out before it stuff spills in it. There you go. Okay, so there you go. So it fits a lot of stuff for such a tiny thing. It can pack stuff so much. Oh gosh, it smells so good. And the glazing, let me take a look. Okay, glazing looks really good on this side. Because I'm kind of skeptical about Louis Vuitton's glazing lately. Um, there. The zipper is really good. Oh my gosh, I love this back. It's so cute. This is my first Louis Vuitton that's not in DE and in a, a different color one. I usually think that I, it's a better to get it in like the regular color. So it's more, um, how do you say that? It's more classic and it's gonna, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Oh my gosh. You guys, this is such a pretty bag. I don't like those. It's making the bag look ugly. But I guess it's part of it. So there you go. For such a tiny bag, it fits so many things. Oh my goodness. This is such an adjustable bag too. It's easy to adjust. But I feel like I'm gonna get a different strap for this because I'm not really a fan of the thick one. Um sorry about the noise, but maybe there's like uh I don't know, maybe a pink or a navy colored strap that's not thick like this. It just doesn't feel good. I don't know. It's maybe it's just me. Other people like them. They're selling them for at least seven hundred each. There. One more look. There's like a little connection right there. And it's a combination of um, structured and not structured. It's it's a really good bag. Oh, that looks kind of off. I should have used a different part. Flipped it over. Weird. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, so you guys, I have I've had a bag that's like this. 
and I'm a little bit worried about that because it might break but it shouldn't or if it does I'll have them fix it there you go you guys what fits and what not let me let me do it one more time okay so I got an iPhone 13 Pro Max so that's the biggest phone they have right now I got a card holder I got a lipstick I got a, a travel size perfume I got an airpod let's say this is a sanitizer because there oh gosh it's it's heavy but of course it's there's still a little bit of a space if you guys look there's still space oh my gosh it's so cute <laughs> It looks like a baby's bag. Oh my goodness. There you go. Pick that up. So, is there, if there's any comments, any questions you guys have, just give me, send me a, or if there's any questions that you guys have, just leave a comment on my video and I'll try to answer to them as much as I can because I'm kind of busy. This little pocket right here. If you don't want to have a wallet you can just put your stuff in there i usually don't use a pocket i don't know why oh there's the engraving it's weird because it didn't come with any message messed up it's the same zipper for the coin purse there you go okay you guys so i wanted to point this out this um marks right there the prints they actually have like a little shimmer on them Look at it. Can't take a video of this one that great, but yeah. See, it's got like a little glitter on it. Right? There. This one too. This bag is cute. So the glazing on this one is good as well. Just inspect it before I agree to finalize my purchase. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks good. I just don't like how this thing clicks. Like, what do you call that? It makes a noise. It bothers me. It's like an announcement. Like, hey, I'm coming. <laughs> Whatever. You guys have any questions, suggestions, or what? Give me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.